Hi, I'm Shelley Wood, and this is my tiny sewing room, where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of Capri style pajama pants with a high waist and a snap front fly. They're designed to fit 11 and a half inch fashion dolls like Barbie. Before we begin, please go to Shellywood.com to download this free printable sewing pattern. Use the pattern to cut out all the pieces shown here. Lay one fly front over another, keeping right sides together if you have fabric where it matters. You'll see me doing that right here. I'm using a flannel so that they are very pajama-ish. Sew across the waist and down along the fly itself. Clip these seams. Invert this pant leg. Now I like to use a chopstick to help me invert these teeny tiny corners and you'll see me doing that here. When I insert the chopstick I give it a little twist and that can help but be very gentle. You want to be careful that you don't rip your seams. Now your fly front pant leg should look like this. Okay, set one of the no fly fronts on top of the other with right sides facing if it matters. Sew across the waist and down the front to where your pattern will be marked with a T-bar. And you'll see a red arrow pointing at that T-bar. Your capri front should now look like this. Clip the front no-fly piece where the red arrows are pointing. Invert the no-fly front, just like you did the other front. Now it should look like this. Okay, let's work with the backs now. Set one back pant leg on top of another with right sides facing, if you have fabric where it matters, sew across the top where the waist will be, like you see me doing here. Do this with both back leg sections. Open up the pant legs like this, this is the backs, and press the waistline seam flat. <laughs> Fold each leg back to hide the seam and press again. Of course, if children are doing this, they need to have adult supervision with a hot iron. If you haven't done so, this is also a really good time to press the fly and the no-fly fronts. Your two backs should now look like this, but don't forget you'll want to press the fronts as well. Lay your fly front on top of the no-fly front and stitch from the fly to the mid crotch. Set one pressed back leg on top of another. Sew the back leg's crotches together. Clip the crotch seams for both the back and the front. Lay the front on top of the back and sew the out seam from the waist all the way down to the very bottom of the pant leg. Follow these directions for both out seams. Fold the bottom of just one pant leg and whip stitch it to hem it. For shorter capris, you can double fold hem them. That will make it shorter. Bring the crotches together now. Stitch along the inseam. From the finished hem, 
across the crotch and part way down the unhemmed leg. You'll want to stop halfway down. Now fold the hem of this leg and as you whip stitch this hem, keep on checking frequently to make sure that your inseams are going to match up. Once your hem is done, finish sewing the inseam from the knee all the way to the hem. Invert the capri pants, turning them right side out, and add a couple of snaps to the fly. And now you're ready to try them on a doll. For more free printable sewing patterns, for sewing doll clothes to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos and my free patterns, please share them on social media. It actually helps my website grow when you help spread the word.